Hey everybody, welcome to Monday Lunch and Learn. And yes, I'm sitting in my bedroom. If you followed me on social media this week on my Instagram or Facebook post, uh, we talked about decluttering your bedroom and making it a place of oasis. And so I kind of thought we'd recap that today. So thanks for joining me. Um, your bedroom needs to be the one place in your home where you can rest and find relaxation. Uh, it's the one place that we sleep and we recharge our bodies. Pretty much the rest of your house represents work. The kitchen and the laundry room and your children's rooms and the playroom and the garage are spaces that we continually are working on or working in uh, to make them more of a home. So I really emphasize the bedroom being a space that we keep uncluttered. And I started this week by talking about nightstands and I told you ladies that I leave the top drawer empty on my husband's side and my side so that I can just push all the stuff into the drawer. It's not that I don't have things that I need. I have eye drops and reading glasses and uh, my iPad and other miscellaneous items, hand cream, but instead of leaving them on top, of my nightstand. I just put them in a little basket in the top drawer and my husband does the same thing in his top drawer. That way you can keep the top of your nightstand clear of clutter. It's kind of like I have a friend that says she's horizontally challenged. And she says that anytime she has a horizontal surface, it's a challenge to keep things from being dropped onto it. So I get that. So that's my little tip about nightstands. And then any other thing that might make you happy on your nightstand that might create that feeling of refreshment and oasis. I like to have flowers, um, a picture of my husband and I, and a little green plant. All of those things um, refresh me, so I like those. Then, you know, we moved on to talking about making our bed. And I will tell you when we got this king size bed, I fell into the habit of not wanting to make my bed. It's such a much bigger space and it's more pillows, but I quickly learned that my bed being left unmade caused me undue stress. Every time I walked past my bedroom, it looked cluttered and messy just because the bed was unmade. So I challenged you girls this week to start making your bed if you're not already doing that. Have you ever timed yourself? It takes under 60 seconds to make a bed. And it provides so much refreshment for the rest of the day. Or maybe you work all day and you come in at night and you come into your master closet and you walk past your bedroom and you have that ah, moment because your bed is made. So um, make your bed this week. It'll just make you feel so much better about yourself. And then we talked about um, if you have that chair in your bedroom, you know that chair, the one where everything gets dropped into the chair. Well, we talked about this week uh, not using your bedroom chair as a drop zone. So I want you to think about right now what is in that chair that could be somewhere else. Um, is it your briefcase? Is it your uh, anything you brought home from work? Is it clothes that did not get folded and did not get hung up so they got plopped into the chair? Well, every time I look over at that chair with those unfinished clothes not hung up and not folded, that represents work to me. And that's kind of what I'm saying to you is I don't want my bedroom to represent work. So I'm going to encourage you to take 30 seconds, fold those clothes really quickly and put them away and then hang up whatever it is you dropped into that chair. And let that chair be a place that you can read and that you can recharge and that you can find refreshment. So I hope these little tips, they're not, it's not anything like life, life changing or um, earth shattering tips. It's just keep your nightstand cleaned off, make your bed and don't drop the clothes into the chair. Those are three really simple decluttering tips that I think all of us could do uh, starting today. And let me know because by Friday, you're gonna be feeling super pumped about your bedroom. So leave in the comments where you might struggle in your bedroom, what's not working for you in your bedroom, and let's chat back and forth and let's see if we can help one another. 
This is an online community and my Facebook page is uh, the reason I have it. One of the reasons I have it is so that we can chat back and forth and you can let me know where you struggle and I'll see if I can help you or somebody on my page might can help you. As always, thank you for stopping by today and in order for us to stay engaged, always give me a hi or a thumbs up or leave a comment. I'd love to hear what you're thinking about these videos. And if there's anything that you'd like for me to spend a few minutes every Monday chatting about, leave it in the comments. I like to talk all things organizing and all things decluttering. Until I see you next Monday, have a great week. Thanks.